guys welcome to another video it's Sulcy. in this video i'm gonna be doing a shein haul as you can see all of my items that i got i got quite a lot and definitely mixed how i feel with them some good some promising some bad but yeah let's get into it and i will tell you more about it Okay, so the first piece I have here is a yellow mustardy, it's kind of like a bright mustard color dress, and this was a win for me, so love this. What I really like about this is the details on the sleeves, the ruffles here are so pretty. And also, you'll see when I try it on, but the back is a bow back, which is another really pretty feminine detail, and I love it. It's a good length, it's actually not too short, I'm 5'8". And this is definitely not too short on me, which I really like. And the back is really nice. It's plastic in the back too, which I kind of like because I don't have to worry about the zipper. Um, so yeah, I rate this one a thumbs up. So the next one I have is a little pink dress. It's very... Oh, a lot of these things are really wrinkled because they're in the mail. And I'm not going to iron them because I don't really love some of these pieces. So I might return some. Um, but this is... Let's see. This is how it is, I the zipper's on the side so here it is again trying it on and I didn't love this one because I thought the straps were really flimsy and they tied them when I when the package arrived and I opened it they tied the sleeves the straps such a weird way like I had to untie and untangle them and it took a little bit and I was, I was like this isn't necessary but I, uh, I can't say I love it you guys tell me what you guys think um, it's kind of a thin material uh, it's not 100% see-through, but it's getting there. Um, it's stretchy right here in the back. The print's really cute. I just don't know the silhouette's super flattering on me, or if, I mean, the, mat the material's so thin that it's just hard to say. And I also don't love the straps, but that, again, could just be me. So, okay, so here's another item that was a win. I love this. I love the ruffle detail right here on the skirt it's a floral print and then there's tears so there's one two three tears and it's so pretty and feminine again like i can see the camera right now through this so it's thin material but i love the ruffle detail it's really pretty if you just wear nude undergarments you should have no problem with this and yeah i really like this especially with a white crop top which is how i styled it and then tennis shoes i just think so cute for the summer it's also since it's thin material it's super lightweight so it's really good for the summer okay so this one is a midi dress i wanted to get midi dresses just so they weren't all mini ones this is a really lightweight one i like it not my favorite but it's not bad for what it is i love that it has pockets i think that's super cute that has pockets here it is it's a light pink color i think it comes in different colors it's cute um yeah, not much more to say. I got this in a size small. All the rest I think are medium, so FYI. But yeah, I'll try it on for you guys. Okay, so here's another one that I really like. This was a win for me. And, sorry. <laughs> this is a white crop top that ties in the front. And this I really like because it goes with everything. I think it went with every single bottom I had that I was trying on, which I love. Uh, I also love that there is a frill detail right here on the sleeves. I think that looks really feminine, which I am all for. So there's that. I also think this was super cheap. So worth it for the money it is, even though, again, it's thin material. But I mean, for summer, it's not terrible because... So these pants are... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them because they're nice and I like the look of them a lot, but they're not crazy comfy. They're not, they're a little bit itchy inside and my zipper barely works. Like it's, it's, it gets stuck all the time. Like it's just like, it's really hard <laughs> and it's not worth it if you're going to wear these a lot. I just invest in higher quality plaid pants and these are really your dream plant pant style then I would just invest in something else. Even though these are cute and they're cheap, I think they're under $15. It's just, I'm not sure if they're totally worth it because I don't know how long they'll last. And again, I got this in the zipper was already broken, 
but they're cute so up to you guys so here's another item that i thought i would love more than i did it's a red skirt and it's uh what's that called paper bag a paper bag waist in the middle a lot of shorts are like this nowadays which is cute i like it better on shorts than i do a skirt <laughs> i thought it'd be a lot better maybe it's just too long or something i don't know maybe it's just so thin that it just it doesn't have enough flair to it it's not my favorite i love the red colors and there's silver button details but they're fake buttons but you can see if you like it and try it for yourself here is another dress it is very pretty i wanted to get a midi dress so i got this one and it is cute really nothing wrong with it Nothing special either. The material is okay. I really like that on the top, it ties around your neck, so it's like a little scarf around your neck. So I love that too. I love that detail. I like the frill right here. And then it's pleated on the bottom, so the skirt's different texture than the top, which I like. But again, it's just an okay item for me. Not something I like need to have or like I'm so glad I got. Something that I really need to return either, so it's not like I hate it. So kind of in the middle. Okay, so where I left off when my camera broke was this pink shirt, which I loved online and didn't like in person. The material is just really bad. Um, it's worse than other items I have on here. Like definitely worse than this dress, worse than the skirt. Well, similar to the skirt, but the skirt's cute. This I just really don't like. All the seams you can see aren't even sewn in. Like it all that you can see all the seams and it's just it's not my favorite and this has so many good reviews online so i feel like that just shows you can't trust reviews because this is not my favorite top it's just not great material not great quality it just it wrinkles so easily i mean that's that can't be like an actual detriment but yeah this is it, it really this is a size medium it really could have been better so very sad about this one then I got two bags because bags are super cheap. They're all under 15, I think. Uh, but again, the quality is not like amazing. But for bags that are not going to be in season for a long time, uh, it's okay, I think. Because you're just going to buy it, wear it a couple times, take a picture, peace. Like you're not going to be having this till you're old and have kids. You're not going to pass this down to your kids, like whatever. So this is it. It has buttons right here that open it, so you open the button, and then there it is. You can see some of the wood coming out. But I think that's with most of these kind of bags. So that's fine. It's just, yeah, it's oh, it's okay. If you want the style bag for super cheap, go for it. But again, yeah, it's, it's uh, you can see how like the changes shape super easily. So I don't know if that's really a good thing, but yeah, there's that. And then I also got this, which I kind of like more. I wish I wore these, um, what are they called? I'm blanking, I'm blanking, I'm blanking. Okay, whatever. I wish I wore these more, but this one's kind of cute. Uh, I like that it's woven material and it has a button right here. So if you're going to a concert, I feel like this would be super useful just to carry your phone, carry your camera, carry your lip gloss. Just can tie it around your waist and it is super cute yeah and this one's really not that bad i like this better than this one but that could just be a personal preference okay guys that was it for the video let me know below in the comments if you have a favorite piece that i tried on or if you're going to try anything from shein i've done a couple of shein reviews i feel like people like watching them because people are like i don't know if i should trust this is it shady is it not only cost me ten dollars for a pair of pants and I still don't have an answer. I wouldn't say it's shady, like you're going to get your items. Just don't expect great quality. It's not. You win and you lose some. I have a couple pieces that I've kept from old videos that I sometimes wear, but I can't say any of those pieces have been my favorite pieces and I wear them continuously. So I, I don't know. Be cautious, but I mean it's possible to find cute stuff, especially trendy stuff that's not going to last forever. She ends a good option. So yeah, stay tuned for next week's video. Bye guys.